Warsaw, the venue for the heavyweight title defense, Stosic against De Vries. But what a card we had here tonight at KSW 68. We had a lot of debutants, a lot of new talent in Poland, in fact, from across Europe, coming into MMA and debuting here at KSW. But there were some terrific matchups here tonight and some terrific results, actually. So we're going to have a little look at some of the action and some of the more interesting fights apart from what was on the top of the card. And there was a fight tonight, guys, that had fight of the night all over it. David Smeowski and Philip Payech. Now, that was a real surprise, wasn't it? Because we didn't think it was going to turn out the way it turned out. It was easily fight of the night. And you know what? Philip Piech looked in phenomenal form. Yeah, Piech yeah, just yeah. went out there and found his mark. It really seemed he seemed to be breaking the curse of the first round, as you talked about, Kristoff. One and two, landing great, great, great punches. Uh, Shmiwowski looked a little bit put back, but the comeback was tremendous. Yeah, I mean, you gotta feel bad for Payich, man. That's three fights in a row now where he's, you know, winning clearly the first round, and then this one he won the first two, even was winning completely the third round. And right at the end, seven seconds to go, get, well, about 20 seconds to go, gets dropped with a crazy overhand shot, put down, granite power to finish him off. Man, he's just, well, number one, unbelievable by Shmielowski for, to do what he did to withstand a barrage of three rounds from Page. But you got to feel bad for Page. You know what I mean? That kid is such tough and he fights with all his heart, you know what I mean? So, a lot yeah. of flair, a lot of talent. But Absolutely. for me, I thought it was going to be Page, Payload, and Paycheck. But in the end, Shmielowski just finished him from nowhere. I mean, it really was a rabbit out of a hat right at the end, right at the last minute when we thought it could only go one way. Well, he came in and cleared a little victory there that uh, sorted it all out. So that was the surprise of the night. Now, we go on to, well, the top of the card, uh, Zhebek Bartoszynski. There was a little bit of friendly chat shall we say, a little bit of trash talk between the two of them. They're rivals, you know, and uh, you've got Jay Beck, who's a crowd pleaser. He looks the part, bit of fashion, bit of flair. And you've got Bartoszynski, you know, more reserved, doesn't really let a lot out. But those two styles really clashed here tonight. And again, we were surprised to see the finish that we saw. It was. It was surprising. Andrzej Jabek must have known, though, in the middle of that first round what was at stake because Bartoszynski had to kind of change gears and go for the takedown. Uh, I didn't know whether or not one guy would get the better of the other on the feet right away. Both looked so confident making that walk, but Bartoszynski, for me, made the right adjustments. He knew that Jabek had the big, big, big firepower on the feet. The punches and the kicks, I think, caused some problems early. And it was that amazing moment, though, in the second round after one round of data, I mean, a tremendous performance from Bartoszynski getting dropped, reaping the knee, turning in, controlling the leg, and getting that knee bar. Tremendous performance. Yeah, I, I love Bartoszynski's composure. Just, just you know, taking that punch, landing it. It almost like it just was automatic for him to grab hold of the leg. It's something like he probably practiced for hours and hours and days and days and months and months on end. It's just something that came natural to him. Props to him for being composed, getting there, cranking on that knee bar. Great, great win and a huge, huge win for him and potentially getting that title shot. Well, look, you know, Bartoszynski said as much after the fight. You know, he was prepared for the striking prowess that uh, Zhebek had, and he was prepared for a strike that may wobble him, but that was a, a rehearsed drop and a grab for the leg. And of course, he went for the leg that Jaybeck had injured before. And Jaybeck just said, no, it just wasn't worth it trying to resist the tap. That leg, that knee bar on the leg really caused a lot of pressure and there was no coming back from it. So, you know, that was a finish that we didn't expect to see. But yeah, props to Jaybeck for hanging on and props to Bartoszynski for a skillful finish. Well, we got to the top of the card, the heavyweight title defense. KSW's longest reigning heavyweight champion, Phil de Vries, took on Darko Stosic. Darko Stosic, explosive fighter, ex-UFC player. Phil de Vries, the longest reigning champion. We know what de Vries brings to KSW. He's like molten lava. He's slow molasses in winter. He just grinds you down and takes you to a place you don't want to live. It was a tough night in the office for Stosic. It was. Immediately, you know, I was wondering, does he have something that's going to put Phil off his game? Because that's what you have to be able to do. You have to go out there and stop this. Phil gets on top. He controls you from half. And he just puts in work. 
Most of the takedowns, as we predicted, Kristoff, came off the fence, and Darko just didn't have an answer to get out of there. Uh, it was a lot of one-way traffic. Phil attacking the far side arm at multiple points, doing good damage from the top, not quite able to open up a finish. It was actually exhaustion in the end, which was, I think, maybe one of the biggest surprises. Yeah, you know, I mean, you got to give props to, to Darko for just, just the heart he showed being on his back against one of the top, top heavyweights, in, you know, basically the top heavyweight in KSW history, basically, uh, staying there for almost 25 minutes. You know what I mean? That's, that's tough in itself. But a little disappointing that he didn't train the things that he should have been training for Phil DeFreeze, which is, you know what Phil's is going to do. He's going to grind you up against the fence, take you down. As Stoshic, I would expect him to train that a little bit more. On the other hand, Phil, you know what I mean? You would have expected him to have finished that fight maybe in the second or third round. He waited all the way till the end of the fifth. So maybe he wasn't as well prepared as we thought he was for this fight, too, because normally with him, you would see those finishes going up in the second and third round. Well, the champ said afterwards it was the toughest yes, fighter yes, he did. he'd ever come across. And Stosic is built for it. I mean, I've described Stosic as if you were going to design a killing machine, that would be the blueprint. <laughs> but again, you know, you've got a style that is unbeatable with DeFries. He really gets on top of you and it's like white on rice once he does it so he defends the crown again and we have the current ksw champion undefeated and defries well no clearing of the mantelpiece for him the silverware stays firmly in place we've had a great night here tonight we've seen a lot of young fresh talent and it really has been exciting i just want to let you know march 19th ksw 68 that's from radom here in poland and a lot of stuff going on there and a lot of new fighters as well i've been vanders i've been hookstra krzysztof soszynski we're the international KSW commentary team. And uh, till next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Us. Us. Us.